Have you ever come across an image in Elements where you're like, oh, I like this, but I'm going to change the color of the hair. For instance, with this one, I'm showing you here. And then you look at the top to see if you have that ability to change it. So like, for instance, uh, let's see if I can find one here for y'all. Uh, let's say if we were to type in like teddy bear and you find a teddy bear that you can, you like. So you find a teddy bear and you're like, oh, okay, I like this teddy bear right here. Oh, look. At the top, it says I have the ability to change the color of the teddy bear. So I don't want it black. I'm going to do like a maroon color. And then boom, you have this maroon color, right? But what happens when you don't have that ability with an image because for every reason, it's just not available? What do you do? Can you do it? Oh, yes, you can. And this is where I am here to show you how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to remove this teddy bear. And this is the, this is the, um, image we're going to use. Okay. So pretty much all you have to do is select your image in elements. And so we're going to use this one and you're going to go, you're going to select it and you're going to go to edit image. And then you're going to go and to the app called Duotone, which is right over here. Duotone, once it loads up, there you go. Once you click it, you have a variety of different colors you can choose from uh, to change your image. So what you do is I find that any, any color works. All you have to do is just click on one of the available colors and then you're going to click on um, more for more options. Then you always want to start with the highlight because if you start with the shadow, it will the highlight and then go to highlight. The highlight will change it to about to this to a lighter color. Right. So always start with the highlight. And I want to make the glasses here black. So I'm going to click on black. And then I'm going to, I want her hair to be brown. So anything that you see pink, that is the color, whatever you change it to, that's the color it's going to be. So if I go into shadows and I click on, um, a, a brownish color, I'll start with this one here. There you have it. And then if you want, you can always adjust it. If you know the, the color code or play around with the color bar till you find like a brownish color and bring this in here like so. And there you have it. You've literally just changed the color of the graphic. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more. Y'all stay blessed and take care. Bye for now.